Hello and happy Monday from Radically Rational. Yeah, we're getting close to the uh, winter solstice and other things, right? Okay, got some mixed messaging here. Yes, I am wearing some Texans gear. More on that in a moment. But first of all, Cowboys fans, don't be poo-pooing. Don't be poo-pooing that victory over the Giants yesterday. That was a good win for a lot of reasons. Go over to the sports blog and I will explain my position on that. John Harbaugh, what were you thinking? You are mathematically challenged in a lot of ways. Okay, as for the Texans, yeah, they get the third win of the year. And yes, it was against the lowly, no longer time to wallow in the mire Jaguars, but it was a win. Davis Mills gets his first victory as a starting quarterback. Brandon Cooks is a man, he is a pro. Okay, now, the NFL, I think for the last two years, has largely done a good, if not a great job, of combating the pandemic. And I think in many cases, they've kind of been magnificent in the way they've handled this, and I think that was reflected last year. But this time, Jolly Roger, you're making a mistake. The new adjusted panic-stricken policy in the NFL. This makes no sense. If you're vaccinated, you're only going to be tested if you have symptoms. Ugh! That is so 2019. What do we know about this? It is mostly transmitted asymptomatically by people who aren't showing symptoms. So I'm going to say it because this is about as out of whack with logic as you can get. Roger Goodell, this sounds vaguely Trumpian. Well, if we don't test so much, we won't have so many cases. This is a recipe for disaster. Remember at the beginning of the pandemic, we we're all holding these thermometers up against our forehead, like that's gonna tell us anything, like that had one damn thing to do with whether or not you were infected. This just doesn't make any sense. Yes, I am a follow the science guy. This is not following the science. We're radically rational.